Hello. Today I am going to start chapter number 5, exercise 5.1, question number 14. Before starting this, I want to inform you from 20th of November, your periodic test, oh sorry, half an exam will be going to start, or you can set up from one exam. Second thing about the syllabus, whatever the syllabus we will cover, that will come on half an exam or your first term exam. Whatever the labels we will cover from chapter number one till November first week that thing will come in exam that chapters will come till exam okay maybe uh, up to one two six and fourteen chapter or seven chapter that I will tell you later about it which chapter will come seven or fourteen okay sorry thirteen metric there is an option between 7 or 13. I will uh, later I'll confirm you about it. Now, let us discuss about question number 14. In the adjoining figure, name the following pairs of fingers. In the adjoining figure, in this figure, we have to name the following pairs of angles. First, obtuse vertically opposite angle. Obtuse. Here the first thing is obtuse. What is the first thing? Obtuse. So before starting this, I am going to tell you what is the meaning of obtuse. Obtuse are those angles whose measure of angle is greater than 90 degrees. Greater than 90 degrees. See, this angle. This angle is 90 degree. Which angle? This one is 90 degree. Okay. So greater than this means this one. Greater than this angle means here I am going to talk about this angle. Okay. Which angle? A O B. Which angle? A O, B. C. The angle A O T. So we have to tell the vertically opposite angle of this angle. So vertically opposite of AOD. This means this angle we are talking about. So opposite of this which angle lies here? Angle BOC. This angle will lie. So what is the answer of this question? AOD and BOC are the opposite word obtuse vertically opposite angle. Okay. Next adjacent angle. Adjacent complementary angles. Adjacent complementary angles. Now here I am going to talk about adjacent complementary angles. What are complementary angles? The angles whose sum is equal to 90 degree are complementary angles. Angles whose sum is equal to 90 degree are complementary angles. So here we can see that I told you EOD is 90 degree. Also, we can see that EOB is also 90 degree. Which angle? Angle EOB. Am I correct? This angle is also 90 degree. So, in these angles, we can see that there we have two angles. One angle is this. Second angle is this. Yes or no? One angle is AOE and second angle is AOB, which combines to form a complete 90 degree angle EOB. So, what is the answer of this question? Adjacent complementary angle. What are adjacent angles? 
we have a common vertex so here in this angle o is the common vertex and a common arm ao is common arm which sharing the arms with angle eoa and doa and two non common arms and non common arms are ob and oa that's why we can say that angle eoa and angle aob are adjacent angles and why they are complementary because together they form a 90 degree angle which is 90 degree angle eob so the answer is eoa and aob next third equal supplementary angles equal supplementary angles it means the angles are supplementary okay what angles are supplementary what is the meaning of supplementary angles the sum of angles are 180 degree angles for sum is 180 degree so we can see that e here we are talking about equal equal means both method same okay so we can see that this angle is 90 degree which angle eob and second angle d e o e d o e is also 90 degree both angle measure 90 degree this one okay and which one this one both angle measures 90 degree eob and eod so 90 plus 90 equals to 180 degree so our answer is eob and eob are the equal supplementary angles whereas if we talk about unequal supplementary angles so palette of this angle is cod and cob they are unequal supplementary angles if you see a straight line if the non-common arms forming a straight line then the angles are supplementary so here we can see that the arms of COD is this and the arm of COP is and they OD and OB are non-common arms if we join it together we can see that they are forming a straight line which is OD sorry BD the arm is BD clear so they are together forming one degree angle same with these two angles and these two angles but here they both angles are 90 degree but these angles are not equal to 90 degree or you can say the measure of these two angles are different they are unequal so the answer of fourth question is boc and boc now the fifth is adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair adjacent angles that do not form linear pair now here we are talking about linear pair linear pair are those angles whose non-common sum forming a straight line or if they are forming straight line it means that the sum of two angle is equal to 180 degree okay so what are these angles adjacent angle who is not linear pair the angles are straight i'm showing you The angles are EOD and COD. And what are these angles? EOD and COD. See, EOD and COD are adjacent angles. Why? Because they have a common vertex which is O, a common arm which is OD, and two non common arms are OC and OE they these property tells these two angles are adjacent angles which angle eob and cob okay this angle and this angle together eod and cod are <coughs> adjacent angles and they do not form linear pair linear pair means their non common are arms are not forming a straight line so these are the solutions you can write in your copy okay so understanding figures are very important in such kind of questions now the next question
question number 15 which is the question number one of next exercise state the property that is used in each of the following statements state the property here we need to tell the property i already told you all the properties of transfer sir if you are not remember that video better you go to chapter number five first video okay so you can watch this i will give you the link in the the i button you can click on this and get the video now if a is parallel to b a parallel to b it means what is the meaning of parallel pair of lines who do not intersect each other these are two lines which do not intersect each other either if i can extend any of these lines to infinite okay and i can extend any of these lines to infinite either any side okay. if you can see i'm going to extend these lines here also i have extended but these lines are not going to intersect anywhere that's why we can say that these are parallel lines. Okay. Understand? But if we talk about these two lines, this one and this one, if I'm going to intersect it, if I'm going to extend it, okay, you can see that what is the meaning of extend? Extend means drawing afterwards. So these lines are the second here okay that's why we can say that these two lines are not parallel lines so what are parallel lines who never intersect each other if we extend from any of these sides either from the left or right side or top or bottom side. So, so here the first question is or first part is if a is parallel to be then the angle one equals to angle five it is saying a is parallel to b and angle 1 is equal to angle 5 so what is the meaning of this it means that they are which angle corresponding angle angle 1 is upward side of the first line means line a and 5 is upward side of the left hand side of line b they are forming on the same side and the same position that's why they are corresponding angles second angle 4 equals to angle 6 then angle a equals to angle b angle 4 is equals to angle 6 which is angle 4 angle 4 is this and which is angle 6 angle 6 is this they are forming in the cross section of a transverse one angle is uh, this side another angle is this side so it is forming x and i told you when the angles are forming x it means they are alternate angle so these angles are interior we can say that this angle is alternate interior angle whereas if we talk about angle 4 and angle 5 these angles are on the same side this is the same side which side left hand side of the same transverse okay so angle on the same side of the transverse and their sum is equals to 180 degree so what is the property angle on the same side of the transversal okay now question number 16 in the adjoining figure identify the pairs of corresponding angles first what are corresponding angles i already told you corresponding angles are the angles who are, are formed on the same side okay so here these angles are on same side which is angle 4 and angle 8 this is upward direction it is also in upward direction it is in left it is also in left side similarly like this we have 1 and 5 now after that we can take the bottom ones bottom ones means 3 and the similar to this is 7 okay and next is 2 and 6 
okay so these are the bottom one angles of corresponding so what is the answer one and five second two and six third three and seven fourth four and eight a uh, pair of corresponding angles one and five two and six three and seven and four and eight now i am going to discuss about alternate interior angles which angle interior angles so before that you should know what are interior angles who like inside the transversal okay so what angle or which angle we have which is inside the transversal one is angle 3 angle 8 angle 2 and angle 5 these are interior angles which angle interior angles now we need to tell alternate interior angles okay so alternate means which is not lying on the same line okay so angle 2 is equals to angle 8 whereas if we talk about angle 3 Angle three is equals to angle five. Cross, they are forming cross. Three, five, two, eight. They are alternate interior angles. Now third, the pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal. Pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal. So let us discuss about it. So if we talk about three, the same set of the transversal is eight. So three and eight are pair of interior angles on the same set of transversal. If we talk about next angle, so angle two and angle five are the another pair. So this is the answer: two and five, three and eight. Angle one and three. Sorry, two and five and three and eight. Now, last we are talking about vertical equivalent angle. Vertical equivalent angles, which forming, which having a common vertex. Okay, angles which have a common vertex and forming x. So one and three. these two angles have the common vertex 4 and 2 okay so 1 and 3 4 and 2 are vertically opposite angles similarly here 5 and 7 and 6 and 8 are vertically opposite angles but i am suggesting you that you should watch the properties video again and again then afterward we solve all these questions okay the questions are very easy when if you remember all these properties okay properties of transversal as well as properties of lines and angles okay see these are the answers now question number 17 in the joining figure p is parallel to q this a line p is parallel to Find the unknown angles. Now we are going to solve all these questions. Now, see in question number seventeen. First, we have to tell one twenty-five degree is equal to which angle. So as we can see that one twenty-five. Okay, I mean this angle, and this angle should be equal. Now tell me what is the property? We can see that P and Q are parallel lines. Yes or no? It is given here. P and Q are parallel lines. Why? Because these lines will not intersect each other. Second, this line is a transversal line. Which one? This one is a transversal line. Why? Because these this line is intersecting two. Lines. These two lines, P and Q. Um, I am repeating the definition of transversal. A line who is intersecting two or more than two lines are called transversal. So this line is intersecting two lines, P and Q. That's why this is a transversal line. And here 
they are forming x you can see that yes or no they are forming x cross section okay hope you understood they are forming x it means they are alternate angles and it is exterior side of the transversal so the property is alternate exterior angle so 125 is equal to b alternate exterior angle also it is equal to this which d why same side same direction okay so they are corresponding so angle d is also 125 degree right a b b equals to 125 degree and d equals to 125 degree reason reason b and 125 the relation between b and 125 is alternate exterior angle the relation between b and 125 is you can say vertically also b and d or you can say corresponding angles okay d125 corresponding angle now we are talking about e If you talk about this angle and this angle, they these two angles are forming on the straight line. So when we have a straight line, it means the angles are forming linear. So 125, we are going to subtract it like this. 180 minus 125, which is equal to 55, is a linear. Plane. Okay, you have to simply write like this. If E is 155. Then F is also 55. Reason of this is what is the reason behind it? The reason is vertically opposite angle. Okay. These two angles are forming vertically opposite angle. If F is 55, then C is also 55. Again, what is the reason behind it? Here, the reason is corresponding angles and c is equals to a vertically opposite angles so here we have the solution of the same question you can find now your homework try to solve question number 18 by own self with the properties of transversal and in next class we will continue our exercise and maybe in next class i'll finish this chapter okay that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.